In this illustration, we intend to simulate hysteresis analysis of the concentric braced frame in the abacus software. As you observe in this picture, this model is composed of beam, column, brace, gusset plate, and angle connection. In this question, a cyclic loading is applied to the model, and following that, the relevant hysteresis diagram is drawn. In this picture, the hysteresis diagram drawn in the Abacus software has been compared with the experimental results. In this picture, you can observe the formation of model under the cyclic loading. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled uh, Influence of Masonry Infill on the Seismic Performance of Concentrically Braced Frames. In this picture, you can observe the model having been simulated in the Abacus software. In the present table, the plastic properties of different parts of the model have been distinguished. Also, in this picture, the hysteresis diagram of the model has been drawn. In the next step, I will enter property module and click on create material. Here, the properties of different parts of the model have been defined in the table. First, I will define the beam web properties. I will click on mechanical menu, select 
elasticity and elastic enter the young modulus equal to 200,000 megapascal and Poisson ratio equal to 0.3. In the next step, I will click on mechanical menu, plasticity and plastic. The yield stress is 325 megapascal and ultimate stress is equal to 458 megapascal. Click on Assign section, select Column Web, Done, and OK. Here I will select the flanges of the column, Done, and here select the Column Flange section, and OK.
Here, you observe that the results of the Abacus software are quite concordant with those mentioned in the article. In the next step, we intend to draw the hysteresis diagram of the concentric braced frame. To do so, I will click on Create XY Data, select ODB Field Output, and continue. Here, I will select Reaction Force Directed at Z Axis and Displacement Directed at Z Axis as well. Then select this node and click on save. I will click on create XY data, select operate on XY data and continue. I will select displacement, divide that by 1500 millimeters In fact, 1,500 millimeters is the distance between the loading place and the bottom of the model. In the next step, I'll click on Combine here on Drift Angle, then select Reaction Force and click on Save. Here you can observe the hysteresis diagram having been drawn. I will transfer this diagram to the Excel software. The first column is drift angle, the unit of which is radian. The second column is force, the unit of which is newton. Here I will convert the unit of force from Newton to kilonewton.
Here the diagram having been drawn with green color is the one obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results gained from the Abacus software are very concordant with those results mentioned in the article, indicating that the simulation process has been implemented properly in the Abacus software.